midst of negativity, a positive sight can be blurred. And the visions that we thought were good seems to let evil occur. Forgiveness for our sinful ways. With mind, body, spirit, and faith, we pray. Amen. Bow our heads, let us pray. pray. Thanks to the day. Till the pain crib lay. lay. Thanks to the A. In that Rory at the red light. light. That's in the A. Glock hey. 40 with that red light. Johnson pled not guilty. We think this family was cursed. By reason of demonic possession. I am not going before. What's going on, man? We back in the low key cave. Keyshot Nam's YouTube page, aka Mr. Low Key, and we are back with another movie review. This time we are doing The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. This is not directed by James Wan, this was directed by a different director, I can't remember who it was at this time, but I know James Wan did produce and he, he, he had some input on this, I can tell, especially in some certain scenes in this movie, but it's definitely missing James Wan. I can tell you that it's not as scary as the other two at all. To me, it's not even really technically that scary at all. Besides this being on the based on the true story that part, but all these are supposedly based on true stories or whatnot But I know this particular story was in like the papers and news and everything like this was actually a true story as far as this guy uh, Blaming being possessed by the devil or whatnot for his crimes or whatnot But we are back with Ed and Lauren Warren as far as them doing this investigation This movie starts off straight up jumping into this story or whatnot and even with this first scene I enjoyed it. I think this is one of the best scenes of this movie, but still, it just was not hitting the same way those other movies were hitting for me, The Conjuring 1 and 2. James Wan, dude is a phenomenal director, and please let me t say, I'm hoping I'm saying the right dude, because I, it, James Wan, like Uncle Man and the other ones, like I said, I'm a huge fan of James Wan. When I see his name, I'm like, I gotta see that, I gotta see that, especially when it pertains to horror. So... You see how everything went when he did that first song and after that first song. Like, James Wan is a great, terrific director, man. Insidious. Dude did not even want to do a sequel to Insidious. And then when he did do it, you see how it, I enjoy, I love Insidious 2. I think Insidious 2 is better than Insidious 1, even though I enjoy both of them. But I love what he did with it and the flip and the twist he has on it. I enjoy that. I don't care what nobody else says. And I know a lot of people actually enjoy Insidious 2. Trust me, it made a lot of money. So I enjoy Insidious 2. Insidious 3, man. Insidious 4, I'm not even sure I even watched like that because I know he didn't do those last. I know James Wan did not do Insidious 3 or 4. Dude was out doing Fast and Furious, Aquaman. He has an underground one too that I think is a cult classic today now I know. Dead Silence. Dead Silence has a lot of problems, but I still enjoy Dead Silence for what it is. I can't say that. But um, let's jump into the conjuring the devil made me do it. Like I said, this is to me is not as scary at all. It's scary. It's got some scary moments. It's definitely better than a lot of other horror movies out there, but it's nowhere near as scary as those Insidious or the first two Conjuring movies, man. To me, it doesn't have those standout moments that the first, um, the one Conjuring and the Conjuring 2 had. To me, the Conjuring 1 and 2 has, the Conjuring 2 probably had like two standout moments. Conjuring 1 has like a, a, that one good standout moment, but it's good throughout. I still enjoy both of those films. This one is the one that I probably won't even go back and watch unless Maybe come on TNT or FX in one day and I'm like, oh, let Conjuring 3 on. Let me check this out for a little bit. Because it's not a bad movie by a long shot. It's actually a very good, decent horror movie, but it's just not as good as those first two. Like, it's a lot going on with this. I thought actually they was going to do a whole trial process with this from the trailers. I thought they was going to go into that element of it, but they don't. It's just basically showing how this uh, guy's being possessed and at the beginning... We actually see, and this is, uh, well, I'm going to say, nah, it's not spoilers, but you at the beginning, you actually see how things come along and how it start off with this whole family being involved anyway, especially these two brothers, and how this one brother is already possessed. So, going from that, you see how things come along, you see how these guys start seeing certain things, and you like, that is actually terrifying to me, starting to see how after he comes out of situations and my whole thing with this whole possession thing thing that terrifies me is do they feel the shit when he twisting up their bodies and the way like all that come about like oh my god them scenes are terrifying to me i can't say that those things are absolutely terrifying to me in the way they do them 
wow. Like, I'm telling you, it's a scene at the end of this motherfucker. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Like, it's, this person gets jacked up so bad. Like, you see these slobber coming out their mouth, and they just sit in there, and you can tell they in excruciating pain. And it's only going to get worse. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> the end of this one. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yes. Yes, God. <laughs> yes. But I'm telling you, man, this movie just, with that, James Wan and his direction and the way he's able to do horror, it's just, he has his touch, man. And that touch is missing throughout this whole movie for me personally. Um, Like I said, it's not even too much to get into, but like they're trying to um get this kid out and there is certain things going on in this movie it's not just him getting unpossessed by the devil it's so many certain things going on in this and it almost turns into almost a whodunit and a mystery thing going on the only problem is i don't remember seeing this character in this movie <laughs> like it, it's i'm just telling you i don't but i actually enjoyed them and following them somewhat but it kind of starts to drag at moments where i'm like man can we get some scares or something? And that's what I'm saying. The first two, I wasn't looking for that. I wasn't like, can we get some scares? The moments came, and I was like, I'm with it. The flow was just better in those first two movies. The flow. I was just going with it. With this one, it's like, you get moments where you're like, uh, so what's up? What's going on? I'm ready to get scared. And it's usually, I'm not, I should, I, my whole thing is I don't want to be asking those questions or having those moments while I'm watching these Conjuring movies. I feel like. It should just have me flowing with it. I'm just going with it the way I was with those first two. I'm in there like, what's next, man? What's next with those first two? Because you just keep getting hit. Like, boom, oh, my God. Oh, what is that? What are they doing? Oh. It, it makes you enjoy, but not only enjoy, but care about these characters. I ain't going to say I care about these characters in this movie, but uh, it's more just I was looking for the scares. And to me, I followed the stories more in the first Conjuring and Conjuring 2. In this one, I was following the story, but like I said, that's why I thought they was going to do some type of trial process or whatnot. Instead, it went a different route. And I was like, okay, I'm with it. Let me go and see what's going on. And I, one thing I can say is I was just like, damn. I was feeling effed up about the dude that was going through the situation. That was The one that was supposed to be possessed by the devil that did the crime. And I was like, man, he's going through it. <laughs> like, for real. It's not only the fact that he's locked up for a situation he feel like that he didn't have no control over, but he still has to keep seeing these things. And it's like, <clears throat> it's almost taking me to, like, Supernatural, the TV show, because, you know, when you present and you see these demons in and you're trying to control yourself, and he's just seeing these, de basically, demons and shit, and all these images of hell, basically, and he's just like, oh, my God, shit that he's just seeing and the shit is just fucking with them and just jumping out at them. And it's so much that goes in there. And those parts I was enjoying because you was feeling for this character. And you actually was want, wanting this character to get away from this situation. Especially what he does at the beginning. And basically almost like a sacrifice he does at the beginning. Like, no, what are you doing? Oh, and like, wow. When they go that route, it's like, oh, okay, I see what y'all doing. But like I said, one thing I can say, um... Patrick Wilson, I can't remember the other woman's name, but Patrick Wilson playing um, Ed Warren and the other woman playing uh, Lauren Warren, they be they always stealing their characters. They're always very phenomenal as these characters, and I love them. I enjoy them all the time. One thing, I, it's like, man, my boy Patrick Wilson, he going through it in this one, and he almost, <clears throat> I'm telling you something, Patrick Wilson going to give you some of them Insidious 2 vibes in this one. I'm telling you, he going to give you some of them Insidious 2 vibes in this one because that's what I got from it, but in a very good way in a very good way but yeah man i can't say i just did not enjoy this one as much as i did those first two it's just it's it had so much more dragging to me than the other two did it had more pause moments and when i say pause moments more moments where you're like it's almost like you pause movie and you're sitting there like oh oh go pitch play like it's just like it's just going and you're like hey, ain't nothing happening and anything going on you're not even sure you're getting invested in this story anymore and that's how my opinion that's how i was feeling about it and not a lot long it's not a bad movie at all it's not a bad movie and it's good it's got moments where it's just like whoa you are sitting there like damn because 
one thing, one thing I love about the Conjuring universe and the Insidious universe, these jump scares are payoffs. Ain't no jump scare and it's like, oh, oh, ain't nothing there. No, when it's a jump scare, there's some shit there. It's gonna be something there and it's gonna fuck you up, scare the shit out of you or it's gonna try to mess your ass up. So that's one thing I can't say. The jump scares always live up to the hype as far as, far as these Conjuring and Insidious movies, man. But yeah, I just basically wanted to get my opinion and my review of Insidious Chapter 3. Like I said, The Devil Made Me Do It. Um, It's not as good as those other ones. It's, it's not as bad as those Annabelle's spinoffs or nuns. But it definitely just didn't have that James Wan touch. It definitely needed some James Wan on it, man. But it's definitely a very still interesting movie. You definitely need to go check it out on HBO Max. I won't say you got to go to the movies to check it out, but I'm just saying. But anyway, man, y'all let me know in the comment section, man. How are y'all feeling about The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It? Did y'all feel like it was as scary as the other two? Or was it scarier than the other two? Or was it not really scary to you? Let me know in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. This is The Road to 200 Subs, man. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out YouTube for letting me go on this platform and share how I feel about movies and have my opinion on my thoughts. Just... Just give me my platform to do what I do, man, and let people come through and check me out. Shout out to all my viewers. And if you ain't subscribed to the page and you're just coming through and checking out my channel, go ahead and check out some more shit, man. And when you feel like subscribing, hit that subscribe button. And definitely hit that like button, man. We out.